All right, welcome everybody to a delayed episode of WCW Power Hour. Uh, yeah, we got a bunch of new debuts on this episode, and just a this is a hundred percent the the B show of B shows. So yeah, let's just hop right in. Why don't we? So we start off the uh, tag opener, uh, about to have decent wrestling, but didn't have much heat. Malenko Brothers defeated the Harris Brothers in 756 when Dean Malenko beats Rod Harris by submission with the Texas Bill Relief. In terms of the ring work, Malenko was head and shoulders above everybody else. Uh, Dean with a 74. Crazy, dude. Joe with a 58. Don Harris with a 47 and Rod Harris with a 45. So the Harris Brothers did pretty good on their own. Um, yeah, happy with that. Seven, uh, 65 rated match. Pretty decent, uh, start to the show. Mm. We didn't have a, an interview with Anderson and Eaton talking about their, uh, upcoming tag match at the pay-per-view with the Steiner brothers. Uh, I put Bobby in this and figured, he's like right at the, the, um, border of being good at, or being okay at doing promos. And I figured that, like, in all actuality, this would mainly be Arn talking over anything else. So. And Paul e helped out Eaton during the segment, so that also helped out a lot. Uh, and the performance of Arn Anderson was fantastic. Arn Anderson is just on a fucking roll right now, so. 81 rated segment, so pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. We then had kind of a nothing match. Uh, Steve Austin defeating Buddy Hart in 7 minutes 40 with a knee drop. Uh, Hart with a 39. Austin with a 27. Expected more out of Austin there. Uh, but, you know, everybody's got to start somewhere. 38 rated match. That's interesting considering his psychology Mike cram, but okay. And then uh, we had a Austin promo, just uh, him hyping himself up to the crowd. He's getting better on his gimmick. He's struggling going off script. You know, it is 91 Steve Austin. We aren't... I don't know if we'll get 96 or 97 Steve Austin in this save, but we'll, we'll see. 47. We then had the debut of Cowboy Mike Barton as he beats Jim Clonson 803 by pinfall with a Bart Buster. Uh, average gimmick rating is okay. Uh, another segment that cooled the crowd a little. Um, Mike with a 31 and Klaus with a 34. Uh, that was Mike's debut match, so, you know, wasn't expecting a lot. And then we had a Cactus Jack promo, where, uh, Cactus hypes his upcoming match with Brad Armstrong for WCW TV, the television title. And then we had the main event, Ron Simmons taking on Pat Rose and defeating him in 752 by pinfall with a uh, spine buster. And then we had a uh, emotional Ron Simmons promo afterwards. Teddy Long is out there, you know, tries to reason with him, but Ron has had enough. And he's coming for Teddy and for Butch Reed at the next pay-per-view. So, Rod Simmons is now fully babyface. So, 62 rating. Uh, considering we didn't have that many great matches, that's pretty easy. I think match of the night would probably have been Michael Brothers and Harris Brothers. It's kind of surprised Ron was so low, but uh, Ron is not a great worker yet, so... We're, uh, we'll see how he does, and hopefully he gets better uh, ratings as he gets more popular. Alright, and we'll be right back with WCW TV. World Championship Wrestling TV. Uh, so, minor edit from uh, Power Hour. It should have been Ron Simmons uh, thanking Flair for helping him. Been a few days since I booked, so that was a misremembrance. But everything else should be fine. We're gonna have the rematch of Brad Armstrong and Cactus Jack. We're gonna have Larry Spisco taking on Milton Shaw. 
with the World Championship online. Let's see how it goes. Let's save again and let's run the show. So we start off with uh, Bill Watts kind of opening the show and addressing that Al Snow and Brian Pillman are both banned from ringside as the TV title match uh, is right underway. Of course, Al Snow not happy about this at all, but, uh, you know, Brian Pillman and Missy Hyatt happy to see that Brian Armstrong is going to get a fair one-on-one -on -one with Cactus Jack. Then we had a decent match, Brad Armstrong defeating Cactus Jack at 8.15 by pinfall of a quick roll-up. It was Brad Armstrong winning the TV title. Brad with a 58, Cactus with a 65. So, pretty good bad from the two. Not bad. Not bad. 68 rated segment. And then following the match, Cactus kind of throws like a, a, a tantrum. On ringside as Brad stands tall with the TV title. So we'll have to see how Cactus reacts to uh, losing the belt long term. So it's another 64 rated segment. We then had a tag team match Big Cat and Motor City Madman defeating the Batten Twins in 1328 when Big Cat defeated Brad Batten by pinfall. Big Cat was head and shoulders in the, above everybody else as far as performances. Uh, 34 and 33 from Bart and Brad. A 50 from Motor City Madman and a 60 from the Big Cat. So, not bad. Not bad at all. We then had Owen Hart taking on Scott Armstrong in a one-on-one -on -one bout. Uh, Owen Hart defeating Armstrong by pinfall with the Missile Drop Dropkick. A 45 from Owen, a 43 from Scott Armstrong. And then we had Owen Hart uh, cutting a promo. Talking about how he's going to be watching tonight's main event for Milton. And he says he doesn't trust Michael Hayes one bit with this uh, so-called world title match that he's gotten uh, Milton booked in. And then we had uh, the Fantastics uh, having a squash match against Barry Horowitz and George South. Uh, Fulton pinning George South by pinfall with a fantastic flip. 55 from Tommy, a 59 from Bobby, 36 and 33 from George and Barry. Then we had a winning calculation promo, just talking about uh, their match with the Fantastics at the pay-per-view. Uh, 78 rated promo. Barry, Buddy and Terry are getting uh, fairly over, so. But I, I don't want to get them too over, so I might have them start. I think they're good as uh, long-term U.S. tag champs. I just, um, because they're kind of, I'm kind of using them as my Midnight Express almost. Uh, I think that's an apropos term. And then, like, the... Because I feel like heels should hold the belts longer anyway. So they'll probably... be U.S. Tag Champs for a while. I don't see us putting it on the Fantastics. That's for sure. Alright, and then in an acceptable match, we had Ric Flair defeating Butch Reed in 12 minutes 50 by pinfall after a distraction from Ron Simmons. Uh, Teddy Long did some good work at ringside. Flair with a 97, Butch Reed with a 61. Then after the match, we had Flair and Simmons run off Reed, and they embarrassed Teddy as they, uh, you know, both give him one of their big moves, and Teddy, like, sells it and just lies dead in the ring. Um, Butch Reed invented a new catchphrase. Nice. Butch and Teddy didn't do that well. I'm wondering if they're not performing as well just because I'm kind of pushing them down the car. Uh, I don't think Butch Reed's going to be a main eventer for us. I just don't think Butch Reed at this stage, if he's not in Doom, I don't see him at the main event level. I think he's more mid-card at best. Uh, but we could do something with Ron to declare cards, right? So, we'll see. Then we had the main event, Larry Zabisco defeating Milton Shaw in 1242 by submission with the Larry Landry Inter after interference by Michael A's. Uh, we also had multiple times, like, DDP and Michael are just hanging at ringside, and just whenever the referee's back is turned, one of them's distracting the ref, and the other one's pulling at Milton's legs, or, you know, jumping on the ring post and smacking him in the head 
while well, Zabisco gains the advantage. It's it's not even a fair fight. Calling it a match is, you know, kind of insulting. Uh, 72 rated bout. In more heat. And after the match, uh, Hayes and DDP beat down Milton again. Zabisco's kind of just taunting off in the background. Until Sting and Owen run out. Uh, which causes Larry to peace out as uh, the baby faces powder the heels. Um, yeah, I mean, everybody does, everybody did a great job in this. Um, you know, I, Owen did a little underwhelming, but I think that'll improve as Owen gets more experience. So, we will see. 76 rated show was expecting a little bit more out of that. Um, I'm guessing just because the last match wasn't as good as it could have been. But, uh, eh, it's not too bad. Show lost his popularity in four regions. But we gained him popularity in 12, so fuck it. I still think we're in a pretty good spot. Are there any mills? Young Buds left. George South. Is unhappy with how he's been booked with these men. Like, look, George, I don't know if you know this, but uh, you're in the spot you're going to stay in WCW. It. Bar Brad, okay, Brian Pillman politicking, Zabisco politicking, but I, he has a point with Scott, so, uh, yeah. Scott's not a good in ring worker. Or is a good in ring worker, but isn't a good wrestler. He's better as a referee. Uh, or maybe an agent, even. But he landed Dallas Charisma. He has a lot of upside. Cactus Jack. Thanks, Cactus. Mother City Madman can't sell anything worth a damn, in my opinion. He needs to learn how to work. It's true. He's not wrong. Uh, Doug and Sting with WWF. Haruka Eigen might be on his way out of All Japan. Does he work anywhere else? I don't even... Oh, no. He's so old, anyway. Great Togo. Yeah, no. Here's an old Japanese man. I'm sure he'll do great in WCW. Uh, Wrestling Challenge had British Bulldog on it. We were still the top-rated program, it looks like. What was this pan-European tour? Fit Finley taking on Dave Taylor. Nice. It's good to see Fit uh, got a main event. What else we got? Team Bandit defeated Demolition. Yeah, that's Davy Boy and. That's Davy Boy and Tony Atlas, I think. Oh, Jimmy Garvin got hired somewhere. If he. New Japan's hiring new people. UWF Civil War. Sell out. William Blanchard was the star of the show. With the star of the show. Uh, totally Blanchard, Ken Patera. Huh. Well. Special Delivery Jones is still the UWF America. He's also one half of the tag champs? Alright. You go, Westy Jones. You fucking go. Fucking. What the hell are his stats? Oh my god. No wonder his man. <laughs> he has got if he have it. That's a nightmare. Alright, well. Herb Abrams being Herb Abrams as usual. Hmm. I'm pulling for you, Herb. I care about well, what's what is Sydney doing? 
Mike Anthony and King Kong Bundy. Richard Maginos taking on Nighttime Knights. The Nighttime Knights, huh? Eli the Eliminator and Hurricane Smith. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, well, that'll be all for this one. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care, everyone. Have a great day.